Hello, my name is Ricky. I am from uh, Rochester, New York, originally from Buffalo. I live in the New York State here, and I bought this uh, 2015 Polaris Ace uh, 570. Uh, I just wanted to start this in the YouTube for the first time. I wanted to talk about options. The options that they show in the websites, in the Polaris websites, everywhere. Sometimes when you go in, you look at the pictures and say, geez, how is this going to look on the machine? Well, I wanted to create this page so that everybody can see and maybe voice their opinion. And I also wanted to share with you that I created a page on Facebook called Polaris Ace 330, 570, and 900 under my name. And you're welcome to join the page so we can throw ideas. Let's start with the basic stuff that I bought with the machine, start with the top. Um, I like it. Of course, for around here, if you get a snow and rain, it gives you a good covering. I did purchase a uh, bag that mounts underneath it. Great idea to store paperwork, your license, whatever you want to carry, your phone. Very dry, very nice. Uh, the insulation was very easy. Front and rear bumper on both these things. I got it for both. They, they installed very easy. They were no problem. I did like it a lot. I installed uh, three lights. They're pretty bright for night. I also installed the rear ones. But I also used, instead of the original bolts, I ended up going to a hardware store and put stainless steel bolts. In this area, in the upstate New York area, everything's wet, everything's muddy. So it's going to rust. So I, I just went out and bought a bunch of stainless bolts and just replaced them instead. Just one of my ideas, you know, you just never know what to do. Uh, I did bought this uh, flares. It's a very good idea. I did have mud sling at my face. I did have mud sling over the machine because of being a muddy area. Uh, they all, this is the Polaris brand. I've seen the aftermarket plan that sticks out a little bit farther. And it's just a scratching. Uh, I don't know anything about how well they're fit. Uh, I have a full face feet shield. This is an aftermarket made by made out of Lexane. Uh, players make the full shield, half shield. I did bought the half shield. What's nice about the half shield is it's summertime, it's hot. You want that breeze on your face. It's, it's really comfortable. Full shield in the summertime, and with the engine heat in your back, it gets a little pretty hot inside here, so I just switch them off. It's, it's a nice thing I do, I just switch them off. Uh, I put a rear view mirror. I'd like to see what I want to see behind me, especially for me, because if you're riding the machine, it's noisy, or if you got a music going, you want to be able to listen to, or you want to be able to see the guys behind you. You know, there's a lot of them. There's, sides in there, I end up settling for this one. So I installed this bumper, now the doors. What I did was I had a door bag that I first bought. And it was a little, I was, it was okay, and then when I started buying these doors, I realized the bracket change. So I had, I had to return the, the bag that was in the back of this. I was hoping maybe Polaris would make a nice smaller one for the smaller doors. But they do offer a full door liner. I haven't got to that. You can see I already bought the other door for below. Storage is a lot for me. I have a lot of stuff. I have a lot of junk and toys, especially when you want to go off terrain for a long distance. And the installation was time consuming, but it wasn't bad. I did like it. It was nice. Uh, I did have some ideas, maybe uh, paint it or paint some, uh, you know, graffiti or whatever you like, or ideas that you like. I saw one guy on YouTube, he's got a Roadrunner. Cute, very cute idea. I got another friend, he's got a Tasmanian Devil on it. Great idea, he's got a Razor side-by-side. -side. Let me show you the back of the machine. Storage, 
again, is something of preference that I like a lot of. I end up buying this one instead. I do like it. It holds a lot of stuff. I bought a cheap nut. I can get them anywhere. Bumper, as you see, it was pretty easy inflation. You'll see I use stainless steel bolt. Pricey plate bracket because of the area, I'd be able to use it all through. Uh, I end up using what are called collar clamps. I'm trying to avoid drilling holes in anything or installing things, so I try to make it so I can clamp it on. So I kind of made this plate out of homemade. It was a diamond made out of aluminum. I cut it all out. Uh, as you notice down here, what this is, is kind of like what you see in the trucks, the jeeps where people put deer on me. Uh, it's a little rack thing I made. Again, it's made out of stainless steel. I can put a gas tank on. I can put a cooler or a cooler for food. Pretty strong and move my way to the tent. Uh, I made that. I can take that off. I have a receiver. I can put the receiver in the trailer or something. I also have a real storage inside. I'll show you more of the inside a little bit closer for you. You'll see that I left the, seat, the original seat belt and I never took it out. And I did end up installing the, the heavy duty straps that they come with. Really nice. I like it a lot. And the installation, I've seen people on YouTube and I've seen people in the past, they installed it on the roll bar in the back. What I end up doing is making a bracket and behind the seat and I made a nice bend to it and installed pretty nicely. It's pretty tight. You'll notice I also have a fire extinguisher in the front. Some of these areas require a fire extinguisher when you're riding on their trails. Uh, you can see the both storage bags there. You see the storage up on top. Rear view mirror. I also stored a little handle and a hook in the back. Uh, I've seen guys on, they put the GoPro, very good idea, and they put it on here. That was a pretty nice idea. You want to go for a trail ride. You know, I haven't gotten that far yet to get a GoPro. Now I do have one other idea I did want to, I am mean, working on right now, is for a spare tire. Now I have a tire at home and I have a rim and everything, but I don't like all these other aftermarket installations. So what I'm looking for somebody to do, up above inside here, is a three, a one and a quarter, one, oh, excuse me, one and a half tube. I'm hoping to bring it out here and maybe put it up here just enough to clear, to clear this but not a, not a backbreaker to take the tire off. Again, I just want to share to you the options. Uh, there, you know, you'll see that I also have a, uh, a uh, the uh, roll bar, whatever you want to call them, the brush guys. I end up painting it and put the own stickers. I still have the original factory tires. I've had this thing for a year and I love it. I also found on, uh, internet the brush guards for for the front I did not get the rear one because I seem to hit everything from the front uh, you'll notice I made covers for the light I'm working on cover for the lower light so again I hope this was very helpful information I if there were some questions I'd be happy to answer that's why I created the page I hope uh, You'll all be able to join the page, show me your machine, show me your ideas. We can all share the ideas together. Thank you and have a nice day.